5K, is it safe? <laughs> so I hope everyone's having a great week and having some fun with their sewing projects. Today, uh, we're gonna finalize our the subject of the knit fit. Um, so we were doing the knit fit uh, t-shirt and you know we've come across a lot of different unusual issues and help people with them and I think everyone that's finished theirs is happy or at least if they're not they haven't fessed up to it because I'm happy to help you all you could do is send me a, the best way to get help if you're not liking the fit and you're not sure what to do or which way to go, is to send me a photograph. And I don't care if your head's in it, but the whole t-shirt has to be in it. A little bit above and a little bit below. And front and back helps a lot. And then tell me what your issue is. And I'm happy to help you. I've helped two or three people that way. And we got, got them on the right track and things are going great. So today, um, I'll be answering questions uh, as we get started here, if anyone has uh, questions about the knit fit, the t-shirt, making a t-shirt, anything to do with uh, the process of constructing it even. And Jessica's here. Jess, you want to say hi? Hi. She's down here just below the screen on the cell phone. <laughs> it's been a long time since we've seen each other. In person anyway, we do some FaceTime. So, do we have any questions or comments? Are you happy with your fit? Have you made more than a one t-shirt? What are you enjoying about the concept? says her daughter is pregnant. Congratulations. Great, congratulations. Um, can most knit patterns be adapted maybe by adding some more fabric and gathers? Oh yeah, especially with today's maternity wear. It, usually it just has to get over the bump. And so a little extra, that would be a perfect way using one of those yokes. Uh, to just add some fullness, but oftentimes it's more body conscious in today's style, so I'm not sure what your daughter's style is, but if she wants the same styles as where it hugs the body, um, then it's just maybe just even going up a size or two or using really stretchy fabric, something that has, uh, you know, a four-way stretch, as they call it in home sewing. It's called two-way in the industry. But anyway, one that stretches in all directions and has a lot of give, that will be very helpful too, because you can wear that throughout. Um, it'll probably cling a little bit in the beginning, and then it'll give as she grows. I hope that helped, but if there's, uh, if it didn't, let me know what, uh, what I missed. Okay, I, no more questions? Uh, yeah, here's one. Okay. Um, oh, no. no. Oh, interesting comment, but uh, it's nice. Jen says that, she says hi, and I bought the knit fit kit and I'm looking forward to watching the videos and starting it, but she works full time and got sidetracked making masks. So thank you um, for doing that, Jen. And, um, but she has some other knit fabric that she's going to make an actual shirt out of. Okay, all right. Well, again, keep me posted if you need any additional uh, support by way of email. And Brenda is asking back to the maternity, like adding for um, the bump, would you add extra, uh, to the front, the length. Yes, in general, it you're gonna come, the hem is gonna hang much uh, lower in the front than in the back. And 
you know, I've not done any knit maternity wear. So that's all I could imagine. But how much, how to get that grade properly, I'm not sure. It would depend on how full it is. Because eventually the little belly is going to stick out because you're going to be taking up so much room this way. If it's not hugging the body and you have more this way, it's not as problematic. So, I get, you know, it just depends on the style and keep in mind the difference in the body from six months to nine months is the big, uh, the big gain there. Because the oh. formula just wasn't working for her. And I know that you've touched on that um, before, but maybe it'd be good just to... Yeah, so Ethel's okay. saying that it took her a few tries before she got the right formula for her neckband. Now, I'm not sure if she, what type of knit she was using, but that absolutely can make a big difference. Okay, it's not big in inches, but even a quarter of an inch uh, can make a big difference uh, from one knit to the next as to how it stretches. So with more experience, you'll get to the feel of it, but it's always a good idea to take notes. And I keep several journals in my studio, and I'm not highly recommending that because I never know which one it's in. And I can't always find the one that it's in. But if I keep notes with the pattern, I always have them. So I'm more likely to keep the notes with the pattern and the type. Maybe even a sample of that knit right in the pattern envelope saying, for this one, I used X length. And then you're set. And once you've used a certain type of t-shirt knit that you like best, you're going to make most of your t-shirts out of. Sandy and I talked about that last week where she created a specific pattern piece that had the indications on it where the quarter marks were and also corresponding on the neckline of the pattern pieces. So she had those markings when she sat down to sew and she didn't have to do all the folding and quartering. Um, she felt that was tedious and it slowed her down. So having the prep work ahead of time uh, can be helpful too. I think I got sidetracked there. Sorry. <laughs> no. Is everybody hearing Jessica? I want to make sure that they can hear you. Uh, so oh, you want them to hear my sarcasm? Well, not necessarily your sarcasm, but I want to oh. make sure they can hear your voice. We'll talk about your sarcasm later. Somebody did. I think it was Connie did comment last week that she missed my sass. Oh, she did. Well, Connie, here you go. Jess's sass is back. <laughs> There you go. Oh my goodness. Well, are we ready to move on to woven bodices? Okay, I think we are. I know there's a little bit of a delay for me to get the response. So um, I'm gonna assume, go ahead, Jess. Yeah, I think they're ready. They say they can hear me, so. Um... I don't see any other questions. Of course, if anybody has any, they can throw them in and we can circle back um, at an appropriate spot. But Okay, yeah. If, you're, if, if a question pops up anytime about the knit, go ahead and throw it in there. We'll circle back when we can. Okay, so, you know, just as we did with the knit fit, we want to just, just go on a whole journey of fitting the bodice to the, uh, uh, a woven bodice. And generally it's to your own self, but it might be to another person, or if you've got an identical dress form, you'll be doing it on the dress form. But it's a great opportunity to learn how to fit the bodice uh, or the torso of a body. It's also um, a great opportunity to create a sloper. And in some cases, you'll use the sloper. And in other cases, you'll use the fitting method that you're going to see us do 
as we develop this fitted bodice. So there's three patterns in Connie Crawford's line that we're going to be referring to throughout. But the first one I want to really start with, because I think it's the best fitting opportunity, is the... Um, through, uh, 1301 it comes in several sizes so the first thing you do when you get 1301 it's a shoulder princess seam and is measure the fullest part of your bust and then you're going to order by the size that that corresponds to along with your cup size these come in cup sizes which will really help you in creating um, a sloper where you can alter patterns that you might purchase that don't have cup sizes, which most don't. So this is a great opportunity to do that. But I want to tell you about the other two because they're very um, similar yet different. So this one's very similar. It's also the princess seam, and it is uh, 1302 also comes from size 8 to 6x uh, as they all do um, this one has the princess seam that goes to the arm side and in some cases it's just a, a design choice and sometimes when you're color blocking it's kind of fun to use that um, arm side princess seam instead of the shoulder seam but there's lots of other reasons or it might be just more preferable to your eye. You might like that uh, look better. The final one is the darted bodice. So this one does not have any princess seams. It has darts that shape so that it fits the woman's tor torso properly. And this allows you to accentuate the curves with the curves that you want accentuated and not necessarily the ones you don't. So we're going to learn a little bit about that, too, as we learn how to fit these different shapes. But again, I'm going to start next uh, in the next week or so with 1301. Again, the shoulder princess seam. And everything that you'll learn on this will relate to all other bodices. It's a very easy to relate this one to this one. And this one and I'll explain all of that next week but there'll be cases where you might want to have a sloper of each one of these styles particularly if you sew a lot of fitted garments so anyway that's what we'll be working on and a lot of the information that we'll be using comes from Connie Crawford's DVD custom uh, fitting and truing so this is all about how to get a good fit and it uses the princess seams as well as um, the darting. And, but we'll be using information from this DVD. We won't be covering the entire DVD by any means, but uh, this is where a lot of um, the fitting information is coming from. Okay, so if you're going to follow along, you could use any one of these blocks, but again, I would recommend... 1301. 1301, your size, your bus cup. Now, if you're getting the plus sizes, 1X through 6X, you don't need to chew. All the cup sizes are in that one. It's the 8 through 20 where you'll need to also choose your cup size, and it'll be easy uh, if you're ordering it on the website. Okay, so then... Because we uh, like to provide a kit, especially in the times where you can't go out and go shopping. A lot of us are uh, not allowed to do that or the store's not open that we carry. And I noticed some of the last uh, fashions of um, fabric shopping I, on uh, Facebook today, someone posted that they had been at least been able to find a few things at Walmart. And she had a, took a picture and Walmart was wiped out. There was like a couple of rolls left. So anyway, the kit includes the three patterns that I just showed you. So it's the print, two princess seams and the darted block. And those all have their own pattern guides in them and directions and everything. But I'll be doing step-by-step -step demos here uh, on Tuesdays at 2 
the um, so anyways where was I the three uh, we're, we created some kits so the first kit would give you the pattern that I talked about 1301 and two yards of muslin and a package of pattern paper so you'll be able to make your muslin and this is enough that if you have to redo it or change some parts out you've got lots of fabric it's a premium muslin and then three yards of pattern paper so you'll be able to translate what you've learned in making the muslin over to uh, the new pattern you'll be making as you make your muslin or sloper so that would be kit number one then and a lot of you maybe got the newsletter and if you did this is spelled out in there and it's also on the website under kits so the second one you will get all of that plus you'll get the dvd so you'll have all this information to refer to time and time again the package three you're going to get all of that plus a a third yard of muslin so you get three yards of muslin you'll get a second package of paper so you'll have six yards of paper and so that's our deluxe package that'll get you all three muslins made up it'll give you information to refer to and it'll give you the paper and the muslin you need uh, for the process so you won't need to shop for anything but you can purchase the pattern alone or any one of the three kits um, or just follow along. We want to make it easy for you and we're happy to help um, as we move along. So any questions at this point on getting ready for next week? If you already have that pattern, then make sure you've got some muslin. We do have muslin on the website, but you might have some. Do you have to use muslin? Nope. You can use a I prefer to use something that doesn't have a lot a busy pattern to it, but it could be an old piece of quilter's cotton, um, an old sheet. Lots of things will do uh, to make up a muslin. I like a blank canvas because as you'll see as we go along, I take a Sharpie and you might wanna have a Sharpie. That would be another good thing to have. Uh, a fine point is great. Uh, because I, you want to draw um, lines on your muslin. You want to show horizontal and vertical lines, and I'll explain all of that next week. Sometimes I write right on it the changes I've made or the date or who it's for, whatever. You can write all over it because it's a muslin. It's not a a finished garment, and it helps keep all the notes together. Uh, works really well. Anyway, I'll show you some samples of those next week as well. Hey, Janet, one thing that they're asking about, and I know that we, we did talk about showing this, so I don't know if you have it planned, is um, how to take, now that they have their sloper done for the knit, how oh. to take that with the commercial pattern. You know, I was all ready for that last week, and then we ran out of time. And I'm sorry, it completely slipped my mind. I will do that at the beginning of next week. Sorry. I think I have stay-at-home brain or something. I just can't quite keep up with everything. <laughs> Yeah, uh, I think everybody knows that feeling. Yeah. Um, and no, she says, I have the pattern and noted that the plus size is uh, cup C, D, or double D. She said, I'm just as B too large. Well, she'll use the C. Um, oh, she said she's anticipating a question of how to narrow the princess seam. Oh, yeah. And that'll be one of the early on things we'll be doing. So you, you choose the largest um, bust, the fullest part of your bust. You make sure you, you know what the cup size is. 
Make sure you've got muslin, and next week we'll start from scratch. I'll do um, I'll do a few pictures and put it in a newsletter to explain how to use the sloper, but I'll also do a little demo quick tomorrow, uh, next Tuesday. So you'll get both of those, and then we'll start out with the basics of creating yours, uh, your bodice to uh, get your best fit. So all you need to do is make sure you gather your supplies this week. If you feel like you know you've got the right size, you can cut it out. If you feel like you're gonna need extra fabric anywhere, you can leave a wider seam allowance and just draw in where the real seam allowance is supposed to be or the real cut line, whatever makes you happy. Um, sometimes we just add fabric later anyway. You can do that because it's not gonna be worn. So I'll show you that I've done that before too if I can find a couple of those type of muslins. Oh, I do, I do, a recent one actually. So just cut out what you believe is your size. And then we'll start the fitting process after that. Um, we do have a question. Okay. I think. Oh, Mary Smith is, and we talked briefly about this before we went on. How do you determine cup size? Well, do you wear a bra? So cup size is when if you went in to be fitted for a bra, they would measure you right underneath your bust, your rib cage underneath your bust, not including any part of your bust. So let's say that measures 38. Then they're going to come up and measure the fullest part of the bust. Let's say that measures 42. That's for every two inches bigger than your rib cage is creates a cup size. So if you're four inches bigger, you're a B cup. If you're six inches bigger around, then you're a C cup. That's the general rule of a bra fitting and it's always um, played out correctly for me so um, I guess that's how you would determine it. I, I think that was the question, right? Did I misunderstand the question? Without Jess here, I feel like I've got a lot of dead air. <laughs> you Start... usually are just fine filling it. Um, okay, so she, she has... Um... Uh, fit issues due to other another situation. So, Mary, why don't you send Janet an email at Islander uh, Sewing at Comcast dot net? I you I know you have that um, email address, Mary, and then she can help you figure that out. Is that Mary Jackson? No. Okay. All right. Yes, and um, there a lot of people have some. You know, just a little bit different circumstances than most. And we can always find a, a way to address that. So, we'll see what we can do. All right. Yeah, and Connie's saying she never knew how the cup side was, was derived. Mary Jackson did say, is it every inch or every two inches? And I have actually heard both. So, I... How about Googling that? Well, you'll get both. That um, Most people are replying one. Every one. Every one. Okay. Sounds awfully small, though. One inch bigger. I will hardly think you would need a cup. I, I mean, because the inch bigger is all the way across the chest. So that small amount, that doesn't. That's why I think they say like 80% of women are in the wrong size bra. Oh, <laughs> yeah, okay, well, somebody will Google that for us and let us know what the, what the, uh, 
And I could have sworn it was two. Uh, the answers are one. Um, thus far. Uh, okay. Well, well, uh, a little off topic, but I don't want to lose it. Uh, Sandy the, is wondering, do you know if the slopers for the children's and the women's skirts, is that woven or knit? Those are woven. Yeah. Okay. Uh, well, the children's shirts or t-shirts? Skirt. 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 Those are, Skirt. Those are going to be woven. Okay. All right. So, Rosebud, which we know Rosebud knows uh, the uh, bra size. Measurements. Yes, she does. Rosebud, tell us like it is. She says, wrap a measuring tape directly under your breast. Uh, make sure it's directly parallel with the bottom of the bra band. Subtract the band size from your bust size to find the right cup size. Every inch equals one cup size. That's the same thing if you add it or subtract it. The same thing, but so one inch. Is. She's saying one inch. Every inch, yep. Yep. Okay. I know Rosebud knows her bras, so I'm not going to even uh, uh, look any further. <laughs> Thanks. Thanks, bud. Rosebud yeah. lives on the other side of the state from us, and she's as quarantined as we are. So I hope you're doing well. I hope you're both doing well over there. All right. She says she laughed and said, I should, meaning she should know. <laughs> oh, yes. Yes, indeed. Um, hmm. Hmm. <laughs> well, we're going to learn a lot um, in this process. Even if you watch along, you're going to learn a lot in this process of fitting a bodice uh, about what to look for in patterns and why some patterns don't fit you the way they should and whether that is an issue with the pattern maker or just because you're significantly different than the average body. And it could be, it could be either. And you'll understand better and I think be able to better judge quality patterns and not fall into that hole that I see so many times when someone will send me a picture and say, "Can I know this isn't your pattern, could you please help me? I can't figure it out. And it's just, I can't fix it for them. It's, it's wasted time and wasted money because it wasn't drafted properly in the first place and there's no coming back from some issues once it's cut. You, especially arm size and sleeves, it, it's very difficult because the fabric's not there anymore. Unless you can completely recut a whole new garment, you're at a loss. So um, I think there's gonna be a great side benefit. You're gonna learn to fit, but you're also going to understand patterns better. And I know I wish that I had early on had that education when I was sewing as a as a tween and a teenager, I had no idea. I just bought the pattern and made it. Of course, back then things fit easily. So, um, but understanding how a pattern uh, should be made and what to look for will make a huge difference in the success of every project you have from this point forward. So, it'll be good education. Well, um, is there, are there any other questions about anything? Um, oh, I want, I never mentioned the kit. I don't remember the prices of the kits, uh, but it's on the website. But I will tell you that they're discounted between 20 and 25%. I think kit number three is 25% off. So it's a good, um, a good price point too. I always uh, get that stuff. Uh, what do you say, Jess? Uh, kit if you wanted. Those nah, price, they can, yeah, they'll see it. 
they'll see. Yeah. It's all so spelled there's, out. There's, there's the different options, so it's better to see it, to visualize it, and um, yeah, read the different options. Right, right. And uh, but any one of these patterns will start you on the right track, and you'll be able to follow along. But again, it's thirteen oh one that we're starting with. That's what I'll be using. And particularly anyone with um, bus fitting issues this is where you want to start 1301 because you always have this extra fabric in here and not enough up here. And every time you get enough here, then you've got too much here. That's how you fix it. That or darting. So, um, look forward to sharing a lot of that with you. And again, I apologize. I didn't have that sloper ready. I did just put it in the comments, the link to the kits. Okay. If that makes it a little bit easier for them to go right to it. Yep. Yep. So we'll do a quick newsletter and a quick uh, demo next week. And then uh, make sure you look for that newsletter. If you don't, are not registered for our newsletter, if you go to our website, you can sign up for it right there and you'll be automatically entered and you'll get the next newsletter. So I'll put that information in there with some good illustrations and then I'll do a quick demo and answer questions the first part of next Tuesdays at 2. I feel like I'm repeating myself a lot. I need Jessica here. Somebody call our governor and tell her it's okay for Jessica to come over on Tuesdays. Can I get a pardon? <laughs> yeah. A Tuesday that two pardon. Well, you know, it's a necessary thing. <laughs> I feel it's necessary anyway. I don't mean well, it. Well, I think uh, you're just thrown off from the get-go today with your printing issues and all yeah. that. Yeah. Because up until now, your entire life, you've had no problem filling uh, empty space. That's why I had you, Jess. <laughs> uh, how many? How many? Uh, <laughs> see, now she's cracking herself up. That's all we needed. Um, how many sessions do you think it will take on the woven? Do you have an idea? Three, but we oftentimes go uh, three or four. Mm hmm. So that's for uh, Mary Jackson. Okay. And of course, um, if you're new here or if you just need a reminder, all the videos stay on the Facebook page under videos. So um, if you missed the knit fit, uh, it's on there. You can go back and uh, watch them all. If you go right to the videos tab, they are in chronological order, starting with the newest. So that's easy for you. And um, you can go back and watch them for a uh, second time if you needed to see something. Or if you haven't had a chance to check it out yet, you can watch them all on your quarantine. Yeah. There you go. Watch them on your quarantine. Well, it's a stay-at-home order. We're not really quarantined. Some people are. Oh, some are. That's true. Whatever. It's um, it's just a predicament we all find ourselves in, but at least we're in it together, I guess. Anyway, um, if there's anything I can help you with throughout the week, uh, send me an email. If you've got any sewing questions, I'm happy to help. Otherwise, I think we're done here today. Jess, you have anything to add? No, I got nothing. Nothing. Okay. All right. I, I maybe should check out that screaming happening downstairs, or maybe not. <laughs> yeah. What was that where you were trying to give away your son yesterday? I saw that. I wasn't trying to give him away. People have threatened to take him from me because he's so adorable and loving, and I was just giving them the opportunity yesterday. <laughs> yeah, it's a long time to be penned in. All right. 
Well, um, I see things coming across the screen. I assume it's just comments and saying goodbye and thank you all. And we'll all stay safe and uh, try not to gain too much weight because that's been my problem. I'm eating myself through this doggone <laughs> stress eating, I guess. Anyway, have a great week. Sew something fun and uh, get Post your... it on our page. If you get your kit order in right away, you'll have it in time for next week. Thanks so much. As long as the label printer prints. No, I yeah. got it. Hey, hey, remind them to, or they can hear me now, uh, to post their uh, slopers. Okay. Fit on the Facebook page so everyone can see them. Yeah, we would like it if you would post um, your slopers on there. Do we want to do a drawing after a couple of weeks and give away something, Jess? Hey, you just said it. I think you have to do it now. Oh, well, I guess we have to. So, post your pictures of either your sloper that you made or if you've made others. Uh, a collection would be fun, whatever. Uh, give us a couple of comments. Post them on the Facebook page. And in two weeks, we'll draw a winner for a gift. So, we'll see you next week. For the beginning uh, of the woven and the end of the knit fit. Thanks, everybody. Have a great week. Bye.